What was your impression from that exchange? Well, I think that you heard former President Trump, who is fired up about a lot of these issues and obviously trying to draw a sharp contrast with President Biden. Manufacturing has gone up in recent years. We should say that. Um, but you heard him, I thought it was very notable, say he'd like to win over the endorsement of the auto workers. I read back that statement right. from the president of the union, underscoring just how hard that's going to be. Notably, the union has not yet endorsed President Biden. But look, taking a step back, it speaks to the importance of unions in this upcoming election and of this state, Andrea. This is a state, Michigan, of course, that former President Trump won in 2016, lost in 2020. It's always quite close, and he's clearly making a very strong play for it as well. And of course, leaning into his deal-making status, which he talks about, of course, a lot. And of course, a lot of the workers live in Macomb County, mm -hmm. outside Detroit. Mm -hmm. That's what we used to call Reagan Democrats. Right. Those were the blue-collar Democrats who voted for Ronald Reagan and certainly could be very open to, well, they were open to Trump in 2016. It's an important point because even if he were to not get the endorsement of the union, you can see him saying, look, I'm still going to make a play for a lot of these workers. And I think that is going to be where the focus is, um, particularly as we watch this battle play out over this standoff. But the broader potential impacts for the economy, Andrea, are just staggering when you think about it. Now, of course, the economic numbers show that there's some improvement. I pressed the president on the fact that, look, doesn't seem like we're heading into a recession based on a lot of assessments by economists at this point. But this is significant. The impact of this standoff could be quite significant. I wanted to play another exchange where you asked him about the allegation from, the, from Jack Smith's special mm -hmm. counsel that he ordered the erasure of those security tapes from Mar-a-Lago where the classified documents were. And that's in the supplementary mm -hmm. indictment. Let's play it. I want to ask you about the case related to Mar-a-Lago. A new charge suggests you asked a staffer to delete security camera footage so it wouldn't get into the hands of investigators. Did it's you do false. that? It's oh, false. false. But let me tell you what Would else. you testify to that under oath? I'm going to testify. You testify to that under oath? It's a fake okay. charge by this deranged lunatic uh, prosecutor who lost in the Supreme Court nine to nothing and he tried to destroy lots of lives. Uh, he's a lunatic, so it's a fake charge. But more importantly, the tapes weren't deleted. In other words, there was nothing done to him. And they were my tapes. I could have fought them. I, I didn't even have to give them the tapes, I don't think. I think I would have won in court. When they asked for the tapes, I said, sure, they're my tapes. I could have fought them. I didn't even have to give them. Just so you understand, though, we didn't delete anything. Nothing was deleted. So that's false. The people who well, testified... Number one, the statement is false. Much more importantly, when the tapes came, and everybody says this, they weren't deleted. We gave them 100%. Very defiant. Mm -hmm. Very aggressive on, on those legal questions. Well, yes, and of course he didn't turn over those documents that were under subpoena. And that's the crux of this, and that's the crux of so much of the obstruction charges, as well as that allegation that he directed a staffer to delete the surveillance video that shows boxes being moved around. Now, he says he will testify under oath. He can say that to me. That's really ultimately a decision that will need to be made by him and his attorneys, Andrea, but uh, quite defiant when I pressed him on these legal questions. And I, I don't think we've seen a lawyer yet who recommended that he take the stand. We 